Hey hello friends welcome back to my YouTube channel In this video we are going to make a GPS based speedometer using ESP32 and GP02 module in which we will monitor our real time speed and our location data that is latitude or longitude and for making of this project we don't require any kind of internet or sim uh, in this project i am using 1.3 inch oled display and a switch and in this oled display we will monitor our real time speed real time location data that is latitude or longitude and along with this we will also monitor the strength that is currently how many satellites are connected with our gps module and here i am using this switch to change the unit of the speed uh, either you want to monitor the speed in kilometer per hour or mile per hour uh, in india basically we monitor speed in kilometer per hour but in europe or in us uh, they monitor speed in mile per hour so you can toggle the unit in kilometer per hour or mile per hour uh, just by pressing this switch button uh, so by using this speedometer you can monitor the very accurate speed either you are using us or you are using in india The main component of this project is the GP02 kit, a small but powerful GPS development board. Uh, this module comes with a built-in ceramic container and uses the 8655 ATA satellite positioning chip. Uh, it supports three major satellite systems: uh, China's Baidu, America's GPS, and Russia's GLONASS, uh, giving you more accurate and reliable location tracking. Uh, inside, it has an RF front end, a digital baseband processor, a 32-bit crisp CPU, power management, and active antenna detection with short circuit protection. Uh, it works with the NMEA protocol and can be connected to Arduino, ESP32, or any microcontroller through a UART interface. Uh, it runs on a 5 volt. Uh, in cold start, that means when connecting to satellite for the first time, it takes about 32 seconds. Uh, in hot start, uh, that is reconnecting, takes just about one second. Uh, it has a tracking sensitivity of minus 162 dBm, position accuracy within 5 meters, and timing accuracy better than 30 nanoseconds. Speed measurement accuracy is excellent within 0.1 meters per second. Uh, the update rate is 1 hertz by default and can go up to 5 hertz. Uh, power consumption is also very low, 23 milliamps in normal mode, 5 milliamps in sleep mode, and just 8 microamps in standby. Uh, the size is only 20.3 by 80 millimeters, so it's a very compact. Uh, it has a six pins. Sat down control, RX, TX, ground, 5 volt power input, and a PPS time pulse output. Uh, because of its small size, low power use, and high accuracy, uh, the GP02 kit is a perfect for projects like GPS speedometers, vehicle trackers, and geofencing systems. Uh, in this video, I will explain the code of this project, and also I will test this speedometer project. in real life uh, i'll go outside and test this project how this project perform and also i'll compare with this google map to see the accuracy of this project and in the last i will give my conclusion how this project perform in real life so watch this video till end now let's go to the explanation of this code uh, this is the code for our today's speedometer project uh, let me explain this code for you uh, first of all you need to add these libraries in your arduino id otherwise uh, this code will not compile particularly these two libraries which is used for oled display so you will get the link for these libraries in the description so download these libraries and add in your arduino id and after that uh, here we uh, set up the oled display that is i2c address screen width screen height and after that here we define button pin uh, our button pin is connected on the pin number 32 Then here we define two boolean type variable uh, use MPH last button state. Uh, these variables are used to uh, toggle the unit from kilometer per hour to mile per hour. Uh, after that a function is defined that is so welcome message. Uh, this function is used to uh, show a greeting message when our system is booted. Uh, that is Techno Lab Electronics GPS speedometer. So whenever our this speedometer project uh, get powered up that is booted then this uh, uh, text message that is techno lab electronic gps speedometer for 3 second will display on the oled display uh, now come to the setup section uh, first of all here we started the serial communication with the serial monitor and esp32 uh, with the baud rate of 115200 then serial communication with the gps module uh, using 9600 baud rate then we analyze the i2c display then we are calling this uh, function that is so welcome message that i explained here uh, for displaying this technology electronic gps speedometer then here we define the pin mode which is a input pull up and in the serial monitor we are printing this message that is waiting for gps uh, now come to the loop section <coughs> 
in the loop section first we are checking if the button is pressed or not and accordingly we are switching from mile per hour to kilometer per hour so if button is pressed then we are toggle the unit from mile per hour to kilometer per hour if it is kilometer per hour then it will toggle to mile per hour and if it is mile per hour then it will be toggle to kilometer per hour then here we are checking if any serial data is available from gps module or not uh, and if any serial data is available from the gps module then we are encoding the gps data by using the tiny gps plus library and if any case gps is not connected or not detected we are checking for 5 second then we are printing that uh, gps not detected check wiring and this uh, uh, message will display on our oled display and after that if gps module is connected but not fixed uh, this means if gps module is not connected with any satellite then we are uh, printing on our oled display that is searching satellite and how many satellites are currently connected so by using this function uh, we are printing this message on the serial monitor and here if gps is connected but not fixed that means if our gps module is not connected with the satellite then we are printing on our oled display that is searching satellite uh, and once our gps module will get connected to the satellite then we are retrieving the data that is speed satellite number of satellite from which our gps module is connected latitude and longitude and here we are uh, retrieving speed in two different format using this use mps that is use mile per hour boolean type variable function uh, if this is true then we are uh, retrieving speed using mile per hour otherwise we are retrieving speed in kilometer per hour and here we are retrieving satellite number of satellite from which our gps module is connected and this uh, lat double type variable lat and this uh, variable lang this is also a double type variable in which we are storing latitude and longitude then here we are clearing the display then we are setting the font of the oled display and printing the speed here we are uh, giving a short form of speed that is spd and printing the uh, value of speed and unit unit is defined here either we are using mile per hour kilometer per hour and this will depend on the button press so if you want to use mile per hour you can use the button to change it mile per hour from kilometer per hour or kilometer per hour to mile per hour and similarly here we are printing number of satellites latitude and longitude so all these three data that is speed, latitude, magnitude and number of satellites all these data will be uh, appear on the OLED display. So that's all the explanation of this code. Now select the right board and right communication port and upload the code. Uh, now connect the GP02 module with the ESP32 and OLED display to the ESP32 according to this connection diagram. Uh, here I have connected my GPS module to ESP32 and OLED display to the ESP32 using this uh, zero PCB. This will make this project small, compact and uh, easy to test. So let's go outside and test this project in real life. So I successfully tested this speedometer project and I got some interesting finding. Uh, the first one is I observed that when GP02 module is connected with more satellites, the accuracy is great. Like when GP02 module is connected with uh, 20 or 22 satellites, the accuracy is about plus minus 1 kilometer. 
द सेकेंड कंक्लूजन इज द मोर यू ट्रेन दिस प्रोजेक्ट द मोर एक्यूरेट रिजल्ट इट विल सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वाट आई वॉन्ट टू से आफ्टर टेस्टिंग अबाउट वन एंड हाफ आवर आई ऑब्जर्व इट सोस मोर एक्यूरेट रिजल्ट एज कम्पेयर टू द स्टार्टिंग पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्टिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट मोर एक्यूरेट रिजल्ट ट्रेन दिस प्रोजेक्ट एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड आफ्टर कंपेयरिंग विद द गूगल मैप्स आई गॉट फाइंडिंग दैट दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज वेरी एक्यूरेट द ओनली डिफरेंस इज अबाउट प्लस माइनस वन किलोमीटर and i think this is not bad this is a good accuracy so you can use this project where you want to measure the speed like while cycling trekking or hiking you can monitor the speed apart from the speed you can also monitor the location that is latitude or longitude so this project will help you if you want to go for hiking or any uh, remote location where no internet or any wifi is available like in the forest or mountains this project will help you to monitor your speed or location and apart from this speedometer you can make lot other project using this gp02 module like this satellite based clock that i just made and best part of this project is it doesn't require any kind of rtc rtc means real time clock we are purely taking data from the satellite so that's it in this video i hope you enjoy this video and you learn something new if you have any question or queries regarding this project or any project you can contact me via these channels you will find my phone number and email id in the screen and yes if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe my youtube channel for more such electronics and iot project videos and share this video with your friends so thank you so much for watching my video we will meet in the next one till then bye bye have a nice day